every project keeps giving her those aha moments. Get ready because her speech is titled, Okay, Now I Get It. Shauna. Do you ever wonder why some people just don't get you? You sit there in a daze thinking, what's going on? Why are they not understanding the words that are coming out of my mouth? One of the greatest gifts that we get through being part of Toastmasters is that the projects are all aimed to help you reach your own personal goals. Now, one of my biggest goals and very high up on my bucket list has been to really take the time to get to know myself better in general. I didn't have much time in my 20s. I was overwhelmed. I was a mom of three, plus being very driven to become a successful career woman. In my 30s, I was still raising my family, still working hard. And now in my 40s, I'm still working hard, I'm still raising my family, but I have made time for me. Here we go, bucket list. This project had me thinking deep about understanding my communication style. Some of you might think that I'm super patient, laid back, I let things roll. <laughs> yeah, right, just kidding. It was no surprise when I was clearly ranked very high as a direct communicator. I like to be clear. I do not like to waste time and I am driven when there are challenges and obstacles. I'm the one who likes to be thrown into the fire because I'll figure out how to get out and I will help anyone else in there too. Everything I do needs to make sense, has to be meaningful. I do not and will not do something just because intentionally. If something is spiraling out of control, I'm usually the first one to say something. But what I've learned through Toastmasters and of course years of trial and error is how I should present my concerns. Now, 10 years ago, I just didn't know why people didn't think the way I thought. But now with the professional development, Toastmasters, and of course age, I'm working hard to understand how to communicate better with my peers. So I'm direct. I'll tell you what I think with no conscious concern that I could be upsetting you because to me, facts are facts. Someone once said that I look at everything as if it were a transaction. Okay, makes sense. The goal about learning your style is so you can quickly determine someone else's. I know that the way that they think is not always the same way that I think, so it's still really important to be able to communicate and accomplish whatever you're working on whether it's business or personal. But way down the point system scale, I have another communication style. We're not gonna call it my secondary style, the analytical. Here we go. Let's jump on the precise, be exact and logical train. Fits right into how my brain works. Like I mentioned before, everything I do is purposeful, but because of my direct side, I have no problem giving my opinion. I like structure. I like everything to make sense and all comes together. I have been known not to show much emotion, but a good movie like The Notebook, they can get the tears going. I'll grab out that Kleenex box. I am working on being more compassionate about how others feel because my direct style takes me right back to what the facts are what the logic is, and of course, the order. Now, with those two communication styles, I can see how they fit. It was really great to learn more about why I do what I do, knowing there are more people out there just like me, maybe. <laughs> but learning how to make sense on how to adjust and observe other communication styles is key. Having the direct as my primary and the analytical as my secondary, this project still had two other styles to still learn from. Now, these two styles were evenly matched at the very bottom of the point system for me, but learning about it was very intriguing. The initiating style. It's very sociable. 
enthusiastic, energetic, spontaneous. They like to feel accepted, motivated by relationships with praise and approval. They prefer a stimulating, personal, and friendly work environment. Okay, I can get that. I'm enthusiastic. I'm energetic. Not very spontaneous. The, the supportive style, calm, steady, approachable, sincere, and gentle often perceived as careful, but has active listening skills. They do not hesitate for more detailed information if needed. Okay, that's maybe the furthest away from me, but it was really great to learn. I can see there are pieces that I can take to add to my Shauna puzzle. Everyone is unique and has so many great elements about them. Whatever your style is, whoever you are, own it, be it, love it. What this project has taught me is we're all different and we all have different communication styles. As an entrepreneur, leader, friend, wife, and mom, I want to use this information to better communicate with others that have different styles to mine and recognize when I need to adjust my behaviors to complement others. I challenge you to search for what your communication styles are. How can you better understand your style and then work on communicating better with other styles too. Thankfully, now I get it, Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>